WTFNN. Headline news update. Welcome, folks. We had the uh, Dow Industrials finish down 16. NASDAQ was up 40. S&P's down 5. Bottom line, you had a sideways market here with a monster contraction of volume, folks. So what you have out here inside the NYSE out here, uh, we have uh, 529 million, and that's summer trading extraordinaire. Inside the NASDAQ composite, you're at 1.7. So I might do about 1.8. Gold contract. Gold contract. Uh, up 80 cents, trading at 1344.50. Now, if we go over to this gold contract and look at it, you're going to see something pretty wild here. Gold contract got up and over its high of the 20th of February, which was 1361.50. We hit 1362.20, then gave it up in spades. That being said, guess what? What you, what you have is you have a comp complex ABC structure on the way up. What does that mean? That means that you took out the B point. The B point was established out here on the 7th of June. That B point was 1352. You had volume of 331,000. We did 346. When you take it out with volume, guess what? You get a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. When you give it up a price, you get a complex one. How do you confirm a complex one? Now, as we pull back, and I expect more than likely you're going to pull back probably Monday, Tuesday, somewhere into this 1333. If you pull back, as long as it's on light volume, it's a complex ABC structure on the way up. It'll make a run for the highs again because this is a high volume high that we have up here at 1362. Your price projection on this uh, is over 1400, folks. If that's what we get, uh, you're going to see a monster uh, run, number one. And the real question is going to be inside the gold market. Are you going to get the breakout that we've been in now for six years? We've been in this consolidation for six years. The consolidation started in May of 2013. The top of that consolidation is 1428. Bottom line, the ABC structure is 1400. We'll see where this baby goes. Notes and bonds continue to want higher price. We have the 10-year note right now yielding 2.07%. You had the 10-year flat, 127.11, 30-year up 7 at 154.15. And here's the divergence. The divergence, well, it's not that divergence because gold did sell off. King dollar, king dollar had volume behind the move today, up 551.6, trading 97.060. That's saying king dollar once again is going to go for the highs that had been out here, 97. 500. To recap out here, we had the Dow Industrials, NASDAQ, S&Ps, all sideways moves down slightly, light volume. Have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend. We look forward to speaking. I'm right back here Monday morning, 9 o'clock, folks.